Hey, BookTube, AuthorTube peeps. Um, today, what we're going to do is a question that I've been asked, um, I would say numerous times, but it all comes from the same couple people. So maybe this is a question that you have had and just haven't had the intestinal fortitude to ask. Um, but this is how you do it. Um, what I'm going to do today is take a um, manuscript and I am going to compile it into an ebook with chapters that you can click on and everything. Now, this is, I'm going to be doing it on Scrivener, and this is the newest update to Scrivener on the Mac, I think. Um, let me see here. The way to do this previously on Scrivener for Mac, I actually thought was easier, but um, this it's still not difficult to do by any means. Um, I think it's a lot easier than doing it any other way, um, doing it through Kindle Preview or whatever um, Kindle apparatus that you have to do. Um, and if you're on a Mac or you don't have a Kindle app or something like that, this would probably be um, the easiest way to do it. Um, even if you do have a Kindle app, um, I'm sure there's other um, apps you can use. So um, the book I am formatting is um, Rumors from the Attic by um, B.L. Kohler. Print the change. So um, let's see. And I'm doing this kind of real time here because if there are things that are tricky, I want to make sure I could figure it out. Because um, the problem Britt was having was that she wrote the book in Scrivener and then tried to format it, I guess, in some sort of Kindle formatting software. Um, so let's see what's what. So um, right now I am copying her manuscript. I had her just um, copy and paste it into an email for me. And so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to paste it into um, Scrivener. So I have every chapter and blah, 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 blah. So what I think I'm going to do, and just so you guys know, she used the British spelling um, of stuff. So it's going to always come up as um, wrong but it's okay. So here we go. So we have a title page here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make like 10 more pages or however many I just did. So that's that. Um, let's go back up here. And what I'm going to do, I don't know if um, this was supposed to be on the author page, but I'm going to go ahead and move it to a, another page that I will call copyright. And then let's see, we're back here. Um, author's note, let's copy this and I'll even delete it. And we'll put that here, boom. Author's note. Let's see. We already have that. So this will end up being the title page. So let's just go like this. Just so it's not um, in that faint italics over here. There we go. So now it's like a pretty normal deal. Um, oh, and then the dedication. So sweet. 
That was very nice. Um, dedication. Sure, that's how that's spelled. Um, just so you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and just assume that this mat right here is me. Why wouldn't it be? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Am I right? Let's see if we're still recording. We are still recording, so that's good. Let's keep on keeping on and never have no in our hearts. Huh? Life's a garden. Dig it. Am I right, babe? She's ignoring me now. Okay, so now we're going to be getting to the nitty-gritty of the bookie-wookie. Okay. So, let's go like this. Um... I don't know, because she doesn't have chapter breaks. She has these um, little bits here. And I'm going to make that like that. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Also, um, okay, so that's kind of cool. So um, let me see. I like the way this looks. Okay. Okay. So this first chapter we will call Kim September, oops, Burger 2004. There it is. Okay. So now we're rocking and rolling here. Um, now we are going to go to here. So let's go ahead and delete all this so we don't get confused. All right, and now we are at Annie, October 2005. Copy, new document, boom. Let's go up here like so. We will justify it like that and um, format this like that. And there's that. This, I think, was just supposed to be. I should go through now and check all of that. I think those are like different days or something like that, she said. A little bit of that. Yep, okay. So we will call this chapter Annie, October As I know, I know when you're making a paperback version of the book, obviously it's going to be a little bit different. I think I haven't um, ordered a proof of a paperback from the way Amazon does it now. I have from Create Space, and it was very um, intensive, let's say. But all of the um, All of the justifying and all that other stuff, and probably even the indents. Amazon probably does that for you, to be honest. Um, if you know different, um, please let me know. I just, this is just stuff I like to do. This could almost be like a weird ASMR video if I would just shut the F up, right people? Yeah, that looks okay. We'll go with this. Um, that. And we will do this just because I'm 
whatever. Okay, so we have all this stuff now. Let's go back into here. And do like that. Actually, I could go all the way up because there's going to be a page break anyway. Okay. So, I have all of the words in here. The other thing we need to do is grab the um, artwork. You just have to drag and drop um, images into your research folder, and then you have um, your cover. Okay? So, this is all done. Let me make sure we are still on the up and up here, which we are. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go over to, I know there's a button up here you can use to do it. Is this it? Compile. Yeah. So push this button over here next to the red ribbon thing. And hopefully this pops up. Now let me make sure that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Of course you're not. Why would you? Frickin' frack. Okay, this is what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna see if I can add a display capture. Let's see if we can do that. Yep, that's fine. Display capture. Ah! All right, so now we're in the twilight zone. Let's go back over to here. Um, so I'm hoping that you can see what's going on right now. Um, because I can't look, because if I do... Actually, you know what? Let me try to do this like this. Like so. How about like this? Nope. How about like this? Nope. Okay. So now that all of you are dizzy and tired, um, I'm going to just hope that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing you have to do, you have to pick what you're going to compile this for. Um, it's, I believe, set to print um, automatically. But um, you got to come down here and pick an ebook. Now, ebook, like an EPUB ebook, is an ebook that's available everywhere on the goddamn planet except for Amazon. And then your Kindle ebook is a .mobi file. Now, .mobi files are very tricky and very complicated. So, what I've been doing for in fact, if you want to make a .mobi file in Scrivener, you can, but you need to download, um, I can't remember what it's called, something from Amazon to have inside Scrivener in order to do it. But you don't need to do that anymore because as of like, oh man, I don't know how long ago it was. It was probably like three or four years ago. Um... Amazon accepts EPUBs, so you could upload an EPUB, and um, it will convert it into a Mobi file, and you don't have to do nothing. So that's how we're going to do this. So we're back to EPUB. Now over here, you get to pick um, what things are going to be in the compile in your book. Um, everything here is checked, okay? Now, if I go like this under section type... Um, structure base, is that how we're doing this? I believe it is. Um, I'm going to have to check this after I'm done, just to make sure. Where's the section? Mm -hmm. Let's just do all of it. Can I do all of it in one thing? Of course not. That would be easy. This is the kind of stuff that, um, is not... It's easy. Actually, I used to just have to go Alt. Oh, but there's more than one thing, so that's why. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. Um, and I believe what this will do is make a page break at the end of each um, chapter. Because if you don't do it like this, it all runs together as one, and it's really messy and kind of awful. Um... But yeah, I think this is how this is done now. Um, and we will find out shortly. So I'll be able to tell you if that is legit or not. What does that button do? What does this button do? 
Okay. Then we go into here. Um, nope. It is B L Kohler. Rumors from the attic. Um, I don't need to do that. Um, date, let's just say 2019. Uh, all right. So this is like metadata stuff, metadata stuff. You got to put this in there. So when someone has your book in their Kindle under title, it says rumors from the attic and not um, manuscript draft three, blah, 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 blah. I've done that before. I've actually published a book that I forgot to change the title and the metadata. And when you open or when you look at the book in your reader, it was something stupid. I can't remember what it was. Um, book begins after front matter. Um, that looks okay. Don't need to do that. Now here's where we pick um, the book cover. So you click on this and it takes you to the only image you have in your um, research folder. If you have a bunch of images in there, this would be like a drag down menu. So there you go. And then over here it says generate HTML table of contents. You want an HTML table of contents because that's what you click on to um, move you along in the book. Now, a lot of people don't like even having a table of contents in their book because they want people to just read stuff from the beginning to the end. And I completely understand that. But the problem is, is that the use of e-readers is to be able to touch things and have things happen. So these are kind of like little bells and whistles um, to help you. Use flat table of contents. Um, I have that clicked on mine as well. Um, I don't know, center body text of HTML table of contents. Should we do that? Let's, let's just do that and see what it looks like. Okay, and then it would be contents would be the table of contents title for the table of contents. So now we're just going to hit compile. And that looks good. Um, rumors in my books. Let's export that. Oh, and let's open it up in iBooks so I can see what it looks like as soon as it's done. That's a neat little thing. I wish they didn't change the whole compile process in order to show me how to do that. Um, all right, so any day now, any second, here we go. Any second now. Wow, look at all those fun books. Yeah, we're not going to do that, guys. Okay. So here we go. Rumors from the Attic, BL Kohler. Um, this should be broken apart, and it isn't. So, um, contents, rumors from the Attic, and that's all there is. Okay, so this is completely fucked. So let's fix it. All right. Okay, let's go. Um, let's see. What? What do we have to do here to make this work? Okay, so let's go back to here. Maybe it was because I did the section type wrong. Let's go back to structure based and see if that changes anything. I can't remember what it says in older versions of Scrivener, but that was definitely the way to have it. It was just like, um, do you want there to be a page break at the end of this section? You're like, yeah, because uh, it's a different chapter. And you're like, oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. All right, all right. Okay, so that's that. Let's see. Um, then over here. Let's turn that off. And we'll turn this off too. Just let's just try to figure out one thing at a time here. Um, rumors, uh, yeah, replace that. That one's no good. That one is no bueno. So let's see how this looks. Do 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 do. Woo! 
Okay, that is still bad. I'm going to go out on a limb and wonder if there is stuff in here from other stuff. Okay, so let's see. What can I look at? Um, pit, short stories, black circuit, and all that. Let's open this real quick. Um, let's look at this compile file that I have here. Okay, so I have both of those on, so that seems to be okay. Section start. Ah, ooh, this one's giving us many more options than Brits is giving us. Why is that a bother? Why is that a bother? Um, that is what's happening. That is the problem. Okay, so let's try to fix this problem immediately. Okay, so we'll say goodbye to you for now. Um, let's go back to our compile here. And... That is really weird. Oh, you know what? Let me check something else real quick. We are figuring this out, folks. Okay. Um, let's see. What's in here? Okay. Brits here now. Compile included documents. That sounds fine. Oh, this is awful now. Uh-oh. Yeah, don't do that. I don't even know what that means, what just happened here. Um, section start. That is what we want. Can I fix that? Ah. <sighs> That is the only difference that I had. I bet that's all I had to do, huh? Nope, that is not what I had to do. That is shocking. Okay, let me see. Can I do this? Ah. Let me see if I do it like that, if that changes anything over here. Nope. Okay. I don't even know what that means. Okay. Um, let's go back to Blackstar, which is right here. Oh, it's actually called section start. Aha. There we go. Let's let's look at that. Section break. Section title. I don't understand why I'm not getting even the same kind of stuff. Oh, you know what? Main text formatting will be based on how text appears in the editor. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, boop. Okay, that looks good. Section break. All right. 
Let's see if that does it. Right. Boom. And now we have it. So what I'm going to try also, I'm going to see what this looks like with a... doing it um, centered. Let's just check that out real quick. Replace. Um, okay. All right. Boom, that looks nice. So now we could go to, let's look at that dedication. That's nice, I like that. Um, so let's go back to here. Kim, nice, let's go to Emma. Look at that, that is what we're talking about. Oh, but you know what I didn't do? I need to go back and change all that. Okay, I'm going to go change that real quick, but yeah, this looks like a bug, and the margins aren't all screwy like I was worried about, so that's cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do, um, no, not that, that's crazy talk. All right, um, we are going to go into, from right here, and I don't know why there are all of these big bits right here but what we're going to do is go into here and then go one two three should we do a thing with that yeah let's do that okay so now i'm going to put that everywhere like right here So anytime there's some big space in the text, that will be there. Oops. There it is. All right, cool. So let me do that real quick and we'll come right back. All right. So that is done. So let's do this. Make that look a little more normal. All right, and there should be a way to sign up for Brit's mailing list. But for some reason, I don't see it. Just go up on there. All right. Um, okay, so let's do this one more time, and this should do it. All right, let's see. Boom. Okay, okay. all right, all right. Rumors from the attic, that looks nice. I like that. That looks nice, I like that. Author's note, dedication, and oh my gosh, here it is. Boom, kaboom. All right. Um, the other thing that I should have done, I'm going to go do it real quick. I'm just going to do a control F and search for an equal sign or a hashtag just to make sure that there are no more things in here. And perfect. Okay, um, so real quick, here we go. Um, Command F, 
Let's look for an equal sign. Is there any? None found. Okay. How about a hashtag? Boom. Not found. All right. So that's the end. We did it. Um, everybody clap. Um, now go get this book on Amazon. Um, it's available now for 99 cent American. Um, yeah. And I don't want to like out somebody, but, um, Brett's working on some sort of sequel right now. It's a surprise. So no one's supposed to know about that. Obs. You know what I'm saying? So, um, there we go. So if you have any questions or um, anything, let me know down below. Um, I would love to figure out what is going on here and what you guys like to do and what you guys want to see more of. Um, I was talking to some people today about maybe doing a video about how to um, upload a book to Amazon. Um, if that's something you guys want to see, I can walk you through that as well, if you want. So just let me know, and um, take care, everybody.